You see this dishwasher here? Well, this is the second one we've had here in the five years that we've lived in this house. And the first one we had leaked. I'm gonna show you what I did because now I don't trust dishwashers in my house. So let's go. You're watching On The Mark with Mark. The first dishwasher we had, I don't mind telling you, was Kenmore. It was the top of the line Kenmore. Best one that they built. And we had it for about two years. And after two years, we happened to notice right below this dishwasher in our basement is our storage room. A bunch of stuff had been ruined down there because it got wet and we didn't realize the thing was leaking. So I took the Kenmore out and uh, there were some great YouTube videos on how to fix the leak and it was the main shaft that ran the, the agitator or whatever you wanna call it, the spray head. There was an, uh, a grommet on that thing and that's what was leaking. Okay, it was a silly little grommet. Uh, I ordered a new one, it was crazy, like five bucks for this little bitty thing. And uh, I took it all apart, put the new grommet in, put it in, still leaked. So then I ended up buying a whole new pan for the thing, which was also expensive. And I put that in and that fixed it. Stopped leaking for a while. And after a year or two, it started leaking again. And I was so ticked off about it that we ended up buying a new dishwasher. I could have bought another pan for the thing, but I'm not doing that every two years. So since I knew that the Kenmore was actually built by Whirlpool, and I think 90% of dishwashers are built by Whirlpool, they just get them renamed, you know, by the different brands. I wanted one that was not built by them. So I ended up going out of the country and this is a Bosch. And now it's been in here for, I don't know if it's over two years or not. When I said that uh, we had it for five years, that's when I bought this one. So two years, well, one year with the original one that was here that was white, and then two years and it leaked, and then two years and it leaked, and now this one. So I don't trust dishwashers. So I came up with a way that makes it so that I can trust it. So let me show you what I did. So we gotta go down to the basement. And we'll go right to the area that is exactly below that dishwasher. Here is some of the clues that I missed that that dishwasher was leaking. This is dishwasher detergent that left a stain here. And the issue is we always run the dishwasher just as we go to bed. So that's at like 1030. Well, then we get up in the morning and we go to work and then we get home and uh, I probably don't ever get down here again until maybe 630 at night. So, I mean, how many hours is that after we ran the thing? So this bit of leaking down here and at first it wouldn't be very much but then later it became more and more this would all have evaporated down here before I saw it but I did notice that there was kind of a stain and there's a window over here and the, the windows the basement windows in this house are pretty poorly installed and I thought okay there must have been some rain and uh, came in a little bit but this is all just bare concrete here it evaporated, you know, what am I going to do? I guess we got a leak here. Well, that wasn't the only thing that was happening. These are some shelves that we have in this storage area. And we, of course, had stuff on all these shelves here. And my wife came down here looking for something. And it was some books or something like that. And it was all water damaged. And so we started looking at everything down here and we realized that everything all the way down these shelves had been ruined by water and it had been happening for a long time. 
Now this happened the first time the dishwasher was leaking and then I fixed it and then we cleaned this area up but we put things back in because I fixed it and then it started leaking again the same way. A slow leak at first and then more and more and it wasn't until one morning that my wife was standing in front of the dishwasher and she's like, hey, this, uh, this floor is wet right here. And then I realized that thing is leaking again. And we came down here and we had another mess. Now, I took some pictures of, of what happened with these shelves here. And I just hate this particle board stuff. And that's what these shelves were made out of. These shelves were here when we moved in. So it's not something that I would ever put in. But just take a look at what happens with uh, a slow leak over a long period of time. So what I did is I bought this pan and this pan is, is uh, one that's made to go under a water heater. If you have it on like the main floor of your house, usually water heaters in the basement on concrete. But if you have it on the first floor or on a second floor, this pan is designed to catch any leaks that might occur at some time. Or if you have a, a wash machine on your second floor, which is pretty common these days, you can put this pan underneath of there. And then if it starts leaking, you can capture it and then you know solve it before you get a big problem. Well, our problem compared to a lot of leaks, you know, if you had it on a second floor, it's pretty minor but still it would have made this area unusable. So I added a, a little port at the very back end there. Here's a close-up picture of it. And I connected that garden hose to it. And that's just a real short garden hose. It's only about 10 feet long. And it goes down along the back side of the shelves. And then it comes out right there. Now what I do, whenever I come into this storage room, I keep an eye on that garden hose down there. And if I start seeing a new trail of water coming out by that thing, then I'll know that our new dishwasher is leaking. And if it does leak, at least it's all captured by this pan right here. And you can see it's, it's movable. I can slide it in and out if I, you know, unhook the garden hose from it. So if I needed to do maintenance, you know, maybe fix the drain or, or change the water line going to this thing, Come, it just slides out real easy, but it's right there, ready to catch any drips that come through the ceiling. Now, if you had a finished basement, this little insurance policy that I have here probably isn't gonna help you. This is an unfinished area in our basement, but we do use it for storage, and we don't particularly want everything that we put on here destroyed by water. We lost some of our, our kids' children's books that we were saving that were down here, so. You know, minor tragedy, you know, things we can't replace. Um, still, I keep things away from this area that I know can be affected by water or keep them in totes that I know the water will run off of. I thought it was a, a fairly ingenious way of uh, adding a little bit of insurance to a potential water leak that I got burned on two times. You're thinking, Mark, you need a water softener. Well, I have a water softener. And the first thing I did was, is, uh oh, my water softener isn't working right. So I called up the outfit that works on them and they're like, we'll be right out. And they came out and tested my water and they said, your water isn't only soft, it is very soft. So this isn't the problem. So what the heck? Oh, I gotta show you something else about this too. The guy that owned this house before us prepared the house by putting in this nice new floor for us here, which is the cheapest, thinnest vinyl floor that you could buy at Menards. But he did it right and put a new subfloor down. And he put it down right up to the edge of the cabinets here. So now there isn't really enough room for this dishwasher to slide in and out from underneath of this cabinet. The countertop is glued down so I couldn't lift the counter out up to get the thing out either. So I had the original Kenmore one in and out of here probably five times before I got rid of it. And then I bought this Bosch and I've had it in and out a couple of times. And wouldn't you know it, I caught on the edge of this vinyl and I couldn't tell at all, 
but look at these pictures here. Look right here. See that big tear there? Didn't know it was happening when I pulled it out. Here's the other side. Look at that big tear right there. Just drove me crazy. So now, yeah, we got to put in a new floor in our kitchen and I'm going to have to tear up this whole floor plus the subfloor and maybe even what's underneath of there so that in the future when we need to get a new dishwasher because they don't last forever we'll be able to get this thing out of here so a lot of trouble with this damn thing so uh, anyway it's not gonna cause any more damage in our basement with that uh, pan down there um, that's what I did maybe there's other ways of going about doing it um, I thought it was a fairly inexpensive way to add a little bit of insurance to it. So uh, thanks for watching my video. Uh, if you thought there was an idea here that maybe you could use, hit that like button. And I'd appreciate it if you would uh, subscribe. Still working towards my goal here. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.